Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I thought that I would do a Q&A answering some questions that I often get from people on my Instagram. I posted a question box on my Instagram um, about a get to know me video and I also posted it on my YouTube channel. I have never done a Q&A before. Ever. Um, I've done one before on my Instagram but never here on YouTube so I thought that I would do this because a lot of you have questions about my personal life and just to let you know a little bit more about me outside of just what I share here on YouTube. Kaz Mac T asked what do you teach so I get this question all the time. I am a fifth grade teacher and I teach math and science specifically, but I taught third grade for a couple of years too. This is my fifth year of teaching. Pittsburgh Ringer Many asks, how do you stay so organized? School, house, kids, life, I'm in all. Well, um, I really thrive on to-do lists. I always have them and I'm just very ordered person. I'm type A. So I'm just, in terms of house work and things, I'm very minimal when it comes to like what we have. I don't just have like an excess of things and in my house everything has a place. <laughs> so it's easy for me to be organized in that way. Yes, things get unorganized. Every couple of months I have to redo and organize stuff. Um, but I just have a minimal basic mindset when it comes to like house, school, um, YouTube stuff. I have a planner for each. I keep them separate and I have to-do lists all the time. And what else? Life. There are times whenever I'm not organized, but it's not for long. I just really thrive off of order, and I think it's really just like a personality trait. So, um, yeah. Jess Gragg Hampton asks, top three grocery stores in order. This is a good one. Hands down, H-E-B is the best grocery store ever. It's only in Texas, but it's got like a deli with homemade tortillas, bread, their bakery, they've got sushi bar, they have like a kitchen, flaming birds, oh man. Like all of their stuff is amazing. I don't shop there all the time just to save some money because I will go crazy <laughs> spending money in there. Um, so H-E-B, Aldi, you know I love Aldi, and I guess just Walmart, but I don't really shop anywhere else. Um, I wish that I could say Costco. Sounds like Costco would be there, but I've never shopped there. So I really want to one day. Amar Lar one, what's your Enneagram type? Okay, so this kind of goes back to the question I answered earlier about being organized. I am a three with a wing two. So I am an achiever. I'm someone who thrives on to-do lists, getting things done. I'm always busy doing something and being productive. It's really hard for me to just chill and not do anything. That's one of my worst traits also though. Like it's hard for me to just relax and lay around the house. Like I am always doing something. It's a great quality and it's a hard quality to have, but I still really care about relationships. So I'm not gonna um, like ruin a relationship or step on somebody to achieve success. Goofy Love 89 are you still doing Weight Watchers? I am. I am completely honest that I have been slacking. I've been slacking so bad. I went back to work uh, two weeks ago about and I just started getting stressed again and started eating things that I shouldn't have and I wasn't tracking. Um, but I need to fix it. Whitley Croft asks, what do you recommend for a new YouTuber for getting known and gaining subscribers. The most important thing is that you need to figure out what you're going to post about and be very specific. So you need to find your niche. 
um, or niche, whatever you want to call it. So you need to figure out what it's going to be. So if it's like mommy life cleaning, okay, or if it's cooking, or if it's, you know, saving money, whatever it is, you need to pick it and stick to it and you need to post consistently, but you need to post videos that are popular so that people are going to see you. So for a while, think about what you're posting is for others, not necessarily what you want, you know, but take that with like a grain of salt like obviously post videos that you want to post but if you want to get known you need to post videos that your viewers want to see if that makes sense because if you're just posting videos that you think people want to see and they're not statistically being searched no one's going to find you that's just a tip and once people start finding you and you do get subscribers and you have you know a good set amount of them or however many you want then you can start posting more things of what you want um, if that makes sense but in a way you gotta play the game you gotta like I don't want that to sound horrible but if you really want to be successful and have people follow you and post videos that help people you gotta figure out what they want to see so I hope that makes sense JS curd ask what's your favorite band or musician oh man I love John Mayer I saw him in concert almost a year ago I really love John Mayer I love Carrie Job. I love Casey Musgraves Miranda Lambert yeah those are probably my favorites Becca boo 14 uh, ask she's one of my followers that's always messaging me what is your favorite pastime when you're not working and have some time to yourself? Oh, um, it's been a while since, you know, I've had kids, but I used to love just laying out and tanning by like the river or the lake or the beach, like anything with water, like recreational love. Hiking, I used to do that um, in college. Shopping, I could just shop. I don't have to shop with anybody. I could just be by myself at the outlet mall in college <laughs> and have a coffee and walk and shop. Like, I love to shop, but that's a horrible hobby to have for your pocketbook, but yeah, that's totally me. Um, also like thrifting I love to go to thrift stores antique stores and just looking even if I'm not buying I love doing that Coley underscore ask how old are you I am 25 and I'm gonna have a birthday in a couple of weeks um, Carolyn Quinn three ask do you think you will have to teach next year um, and I'm assuming that means like financially like will I have to teach next year um, and personally I'm planning on teaching I really love my job and yes there's parts of it that get stressful and hard like anybody else's job but I don't plan on not teaching because I really like it even if I made enough on YouTube to not work I would still probably work because I would still work because I really love it. Baby Dougie 3 <laughs> Do you enjoy being a working mom? Yes, I do. There are pros and cons, obviously. Um, I really love working. I really feel like my job as an educator makes me feel very purposeful. I really love interacting with kids working with kids is a lot of fun and you know I do teach fifth graders so they're like many adults it's really fun for me this sounds horrible but I just don't think that I'm a stay-at-home mom um, obviously if I had to I would do it and I would with all my being be successful at it because Enneagram 3 but I just don't 
it's hard being a stay-at-home mom is hard and i've only ever experienced this whenever i was on maternity leave and covid which those are both just hard scenarios anyways but it's hard and my husband's gone a lot and personally i feel like i appreciate my kids more and have like more quality time with them when I'm with them because I'm apart from them. Long story short, I really enjoy being a working mom, but I think it comes down to your situation, you know, finances, you know, if you need to be a stay at home mom, if you are working, how old your kids are, but I really love it. I kind of chased the rabbit with that one. Uh, Brittany Lee Keith. She also messaged me all the time on Instagram. What made you decide to start a YouTube channel? Honestly, wanted to start a YouTube channel since I was like 19 or 20, um, whenever I was in college, but I didn't know what I wanted it to be. And I wanted it to be, obviously, again, Enneagram 3, I wanted it to be successful, but I didn't know what it would be about. But, um, it kind of goes with my story of my husband and I got married very young. Um, I was 20. A couple months later, I was pregnant. And, you know, we didn't have a lot of money. We were finishing college. We didn't even really have jobs. But we still needed to eat. So I started you know, cooking and budgeting. And I read Dave Ramsey books. And I started figuring out what we needed to do. I also realized we had a ton of student loans and like all this debt and we were drowning, I felt like. And I figured out that budgeting and specifically cooking and staying at home, we never ate out because we couldn't afford it. And I realized that that was such a huge way to save money was to cook and eat at home and I felt like my responsibility as the wife um, was to help us keep track of our finances just because my husband was working all the time. So I started like tackling that and I was cooking and I don't know, I realized that I was a different 20 year old and there were not a lot of people like me you know I was 20 and I had a baby and we were working and I was cooking at home and a lot of people eat out a lot of adults seriously struggle with cooking or they don't like to or they don't know how or they're overwhelmed with it and so they don't and for me I just thought it was like so easy um, so I just realized basically that I could be helpful to people in that it's really not as hard as it seems and you can save money and pay off debt and you can cook at home and enjoy it and I decided that I wanted to share with people so I told Trey that I wanted to do that I was really nervous but he was like totally for it and I just started it and it was kind of awkward and I was figuring out at first what I wanted to share and then I shared some cooking videos and it took off and like I just realized and decided I'm going to do this. So I was very consistent. I posted every week for like a whole year with not a lot of views, you know, I was, but I was going to do it and eventually people started watching and like I just decided I wasn't going to give up and people started watching and subscribing and I just really still can't believe that it happened the way it did but that is the short story version of it. Carolina Mama 94 says what was it like having a baby during a pandemic? Honestly it wasn't that different for me here in Texas. It was weird at the end you know wearing masks but now I'm totally used to that but you know, no one allowed to come with you to appointments. Um, and I could have my husband, but nobody else in the, like, the hospital. That was, you know, sad. Obviously, this wasn't my first kid. If it was my first kid, I think it would have been a lot 
harder for me but I already knew kind of what I was doing and what to expect so it really wasn't that much different than the other ones I just didn't have family there Monica Devine asked would you ever quit your teaching job to become a full-time youtuber I don't think so I really find a lot of purpose in my job and I think that every educator hopefully thinks this at one point that you are going to try to make a change in your kids lives help them whatever it is you might be and I really do think that that's my purpose in the kids lives that I have in my classroom I really love doing YouTube too um, and I do think that I like it's purposeful too to help people um, and it's fun and it allows me to be creative and share things that help people but I really would love to do both and I do a really good job of keeping them separate I just really don't think that I would quit you have to remind yourself that what you're doing is more than teaching you're helping raise the next generation you know 20 kids at a time 40 kids at a time however many you have and there are years that are hard you get stuck in a rut sometimes just like any other job but you can't let the negatives distract you from the real reason why you chose that job and we know we go through times in life that are harder you know ups and downs but I just really know that I'm supposed to be there for those kids. That was a really long answer. I don't know if that made any sense. Until I feel like the Lord wants me to stop, like I haven't reached that point. And I don't want to stop teaching, um, even if YouTube like financially was enough. I don't think I would want to stop because I really love my job. Laura Lita Vera asks, how do you handle childcare while teaching? Um, that is one of the main reasons why I am still teaching is because I really do love the person that watches our kids. Our kids go to a small in-home like childcare school and it's perfect for them. I love it so, so much. And that is really the reason why I'm still teaching uh, because I feel so comfortable with where they go during the day. Before my son was there, I felt so guilty because I just didn't like where he was going. And I was very certain that I was not going to continue working the next year. And then the Lord just dropped her in our life seriously and I just knew that it was perfect and it was meant to be so my kids still go to this place and I love it so much um, I'm very thankful for the childcare situation we have yes we do pay for it I have people ask sometimes um, if I pay for childcare yes I pay for three of them trust me I probably have like 50 more questions but they are all about me and my husband so I am going to film another Q&A with him and answer our questions all about us as a couple our marriage how we met all of that and I will post it probably in about a week so give this video a thumbs up if you want that following Q&A and we can film it um, I hope that you enjoyed getting to know a little bit about me. I don't really like just openly tell y'all things about me, right? Because I'm always showing you how to do something or whatever in a video. So I hope that you liked this. So thanks for watching and I will see you again next time. Bye everybody.